we're all like that. I got one. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. Oh, this is the wrong. I, I made sure I scraped the edges when I was mixing, and I made sure I switched pails because this is a lot of brown, a lot of um, powdered pigment, and we would not want um, chunks and clumps popping up to the top. This is a foam roller, just a bigger, just an eight inch foam roller. Just a way bigger. Like that. Yeah, really thin nap on here. Um, This is basically how I do almost every kitchen. So. Notice I'm taking my time and I'm trying to stay organized. And then I'm keeping some of that product back, back from the edge. Bless you. I apologize for sneezing. It was loud. <laughs> you haven't been violent and ginger yet, so. <laughs> Before I push too much of this off, I really want to make sure I break any of that surface tension and roll my entire edge so that everything else just comes straight down. I don't want any like surface tension drips that separate or anything, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You all have seen that before. And now I could easily just keep painting and go back up over to my other side, but remember, I want this to be an even layer too, and I don't, I don't want to pull like I had a void here. I don't want to just paint it here on the end. I wanted to come all the way up in here and really leave a, a smooth layer on the entire surface. And now I'm going to start working back across. I'll leave a little bit on the front edge just to pick off and deal with the scent as well. That should be a very nice edge right there as long as we don't torch it. Anybody have any fun plans this afternoon after they leave class? No, I'm taking a nap. Are you guys glad? Who actually is glad they came to Colorado for a class? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. This is a great class. You got lucky with a good teacher. Oh, I'm trying to learn to be a better teacher because I can tell you I am not the best teacher. So I definitely. Have a lot to improve on. That's what a good teacher would say. Mm -hmm. Are you letting me know the way? How many hours? Ah, the warm and fuzzy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 Give me a phone. I had three hours. I had three hours. <laughs> 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 Sorry, TikTok <laughs> line. I forgot you guys are really excited. Anything inappropriate? Yeah. 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 All the inappropriate comments are from somebody else. 24 hours straight. No. You came here with your dad. That's awesome. That's. I like when I see like husbands and wives and boyfriends, <coughs> girlfriends, or dads and kids, and people with their teens, brothers over here, helping each other. What was the temp, like mid 70s? Um, it was about 88, probably. So it was. Oh, that was the question. That's so pretty. Does it make a difference if liquid versus water? Um, yeah, that's yeah, it's definitely, a, the, the liquids are all a very opaque color and the powders will be very metallic. So this will be a very reflective metallic look. So oh, okay. now, right, all I'm doing right now, and really watch, don't get too close to the table anybody's good. Now we have drips on all the ground. So and if you notice, I'm really trying to roll this entire edge before I let too much of it slop off there. Not just wasting it. If you don't run that edge, you have a, a chance of it not really sticking and it has a little surface tension or air behind it. So just running this on there really will aid in a much smoother surface. And of course I poured more than enough, more than even the 15 square feet per gallon here. So we have plenty of product, but what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna accent lots of colors into this countertop and we're gonna keep pouring colors and then I'm gonna scrape the colors down into there. And the way this is gonna be a wood grain 
is because we're going to sand through all those colors and expose and open them, open them up just like you would a rock or something like that. So. It almost looks like red green over there. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. All right. Nice who, has, who has the first color? Who, who has? Pick a color. Which color? We'll do that. We'll start out with the Caribbean right there. Oh, Anybody have a rag? Yes. Let's make sure we're very careful with close to this box, you guys. Hopefully, I'm the only guy that steps in it today. I was gonna let her pour this, but she couldn't figure out which way it's ending this month, so I was worried she might get lost. Stepping on this epoxy, so try to stay off the plastic unless you come in one at a time. Here, here, here. Yeah, and leave enough to go across too. So start out actually. If you notice, I poured too much out of my first fan, and then I didn't have any for the far side of the table. We're starting here. Is there a gap in between, or better up against? No, always in between. Just random. I just want this random lines all the way down the table. A little thinner. A little thinner. Everybody does it. Now let's just bring him around so he doesn't have to walk around because now if he takes a step, it's another dirty spot. So why don't you fucking stop? <laughs> now stop moving, please. <laughs> Get him a rag, somebody. Bring him a rag in and let's clean his feet. Now somebody else, bring a rag and some alcohol and we'll clean up where we walked in 10 spots where we only had one spot before. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm careful. Get it and if I step in something like that, do you notice I stop moving? Because now every little one of your little steps is four more little blobs. So, okay. So now, if you notice, we can't walk down this side hardly. So somebody come down here with a rag and alcohol, or else I'll stop this job right now, real quick, and I'll clean up and I'll come back. So, but if you guys want to help, we can keep going. Yep. Yeah, we'll come down this way and just clean all those steps up. Can you pass those right down this way? Yeah, we need some of the green over here because you notice. No, no, no. Go all the way to the other side. Unless you can reach there. Because think about this 90% of your green's all on one side. I want to get it. Remember, you guys got to plan things a little bit. It needs to be random, but we don't want all of our color on just on one side. The only way to not make mistakes is not work, guys. Don't step too close. Really overly think about that, guys, how far you're standing off that countertop. Yep, yeah, it comes off the end quite a bit, guys. Now, don't, don't purposely pour it off the end. You're going to get Come right back down to another line. Go out a little more, too. Remember, we want this all random to the whole thing, so don't use up all your color in one spot. You're shaking. You need just one little hit on that pipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. Maybe he just needs a drink. He needs a drink. I don't think this class came to color out of the smoke weed. I think Eric's been paying a lot of attention. That's what I thought. Sorry. We need room. This guy's too helpful. I know he's, <laughs> he's working too hard to have been high, though. <laughs> 
Yeah, come back down to another one. That's perfect. Right? Go back up here. <laughs> Watch where your cup is if it's dripping. Anybody walking around with just a cup dripping? Has anybody? I'm sure three people are. Just be thoughtful of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, is it all gone? Yeah. Any other colors? A little bit of raglan alcohol? We need black. Black or gold? Yeah. Black or gold? Black or gold? Black or Pass that down to them because I want to Oh, you're okay. Just remember, guys, the fastest way to stay clean is to stop and stay clean. So. Let's just watch our ends here, guys. You guys are doing pretty good. Anybody know where? I was just waiting for that. I was going to get a Ciao. Yes. Good job on the randomness there, guys. Yeah, yeah. That was actually pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm making my own notch trial here, guys. And I want it very random. And I actually kind of like the ends not to be too pointy because I want them to. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I don't want the ends to be too pointy because I want them actually to drag a little bit of material. So it's kind of a weird little thing. You could just buy a notch trial if you wanted to. There's drips all over out here. Somebody's walking around with a. With a I think somebody's walking around with a. With a one of their accent colors just dripping. So if you're walking around with an accent color, throw it in the bucket. Thank you, by the way. Thank you guys for helping keep it so clean. All right, so this is my notch trowel for my next phase. And this is weird, but again, ghetto that works isn't ghetto. Okay guys, you, TikTok, you guys are gonna like this more than you think. If you ladies are wondering why you're thinking about hitting scroll, just flick the bean while you wait. We'll, we'll be right back with an important message. People already love it. What, what, they're arguing about it? No, they love this. Oh, they love it? They're all about it. Well, I hope people don't hate me soon because I'm about to We've got take away all the- We've got 2.5 people on here. What's that? 2.5, oh. Well, I hope I have not offended anyone. Accidentally. <laughs> Jay's still young. Yes. <laughs> I think everybody that knows me is unoffended. Okay. So ghetto, little Get random it. trowel, but I like it. So. times and I want to make sure my grains aren't crossing each other so if one grain squiggles the next line needs to too so things need to kind of come together now I'm purposely mixing as much of this material down through the bottom as possible because when I come back and I sand this it's really going to give it that wood grain effect where you see all those different little striations show through if that makes sense so it's not like a one pass process. Can I stop? 
Is it on my bed? Thank you so much, Grace. You're all nice. Sand this. Yeah, but we didn't get the quarantine. How long would it have had to stay if we could have? We could have sanded it today. It just won't sand quite as easy. If you wait that extra one, two, three days, it just cuts a lot easier. But if you can't, no. The other thing you can do is wet sand. That'll, you can wet sand something very um, fresh. Sometimes it's cured for like 20 hours, probably. I've cured stuff out really hot and sanded it um, very successfully uh, after about 12 hours. That's a lot of color in there. I like that. Mm. Looks like those rainbow eucalyptus in Hawaii. What's that? It looks like the rainbow, rainbow eucalyptus in Hawaii. Oh, okay. They're bark I don't think I've ever colored. seen that. That's awesome. So this might be the rainbow eucalyptus table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you do this again, you can say this is the rainbow eucalyptus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Juan. Get a ukulele out. That's right. <laughs> I Maybe have to do that. That one. That one right there. Yeah. Yeah. Done. I'm gonna grab that torch. The courts are really good. Oh, it's turkey. Yeah, it is. All right. And then it's like, so you can't get so much So, how's that going to I'll do a lot of work. What do you do, Steve? Say what? It's gonna be it? Mm -hmm. uh, um, I may, but I'm probably actually gonna uh, scrape it on one more time, just so we can get some of this gold in there. Never to be done, guys. This is the worst thing to ever do. Don't ever light anything on fire. Yeah, never light a customer on fire. If you light your customer on fire, they don't pay. Well, only if the fire is not good enough. If your fire is successful, you don't pay. Here's what happened last time. Any of the colors you guys want to see in there that we don't have? I think it's going to be great. Yeah, there's the red, copper, gold, the blue, the turquoise, the blue. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to kind of track now and be a little, pay a little more attention to where my up enough stuff this is proof that something accidentally turns out good because nothing I've showed you is something I just smartly came up with 
pray, try not to mess up jobs, stress, pour more epoxy. What do you think we're doing all right? Nightmares Just customer nightmares. <laughs> Just customer. Epoxy doesn't stress me. Customers can. You're being wavy on this passenger. Yep. I want to keep all this going. do a lot of wood bringing with concrete, like decorative concrete overlays, but much easier. I just got, I, I didn't do it the same way at all, and ever since I did epoxy, I always wanted to figure out how to do wood graining again, because that was probably one of the neater looks I could do with concrete that looked nice. Better do the whole path so I don't make it look crappy. Yeah. Should still be at around you know sixty five to eighty five dollars a square foot easily. So, I mean, let's do the math on this. If you got say seventy five down the middle per square foot, we have um, forty eight. Uh, forty eight yeah, square feet. Um, let's just say we have um, the MDF. Um, we have three sheets at sixty five dollars in here, right? And then we have about four hundred dollars worth of resin and color. So, if you're not a dealer, so what is that? Five fifty, six hundred dollars. What's um, What's 65 times? Well, let's do let's do 65 dollars per square foot times. If you did 75 dollars a square foot, you're roughly that's five, about right. That would make sense. Spend, right. People would spend about three to four thousand dollars per day. I think you'd spend more when we see it done because I'm also going to do bark on the edges, and I think I'm going to do um, true metal. I'm going to try to do polished brass. So if you have a polished brass um, bark, and I want it to look just like bark on here. I'm going to try to make our live edge that you guys cut. I'll try not to disappoint you guys when you see this online. Um, Levi, can you go over the, like, um, I don't know what I'll make the legs out of. I have a couple wooden legs out there that I might use. Can you talk about the zero views here really quick? What's that? How'd you get that tree stump? Which, which tree stump? Oh, is there a tree stump under the business table? It's uh, the one that you got. Oh, is it just like a little piece of wood? Or? Yeah. Oh, that piece, yeah. I actually cut that off at the top of some of these fence that I was up their house. For a piece like this, so I don't want you to keep an eye on it after you're done. Until the drips are stopping to drip. Yep, and now I really want the, no air bubbles because I'm going to be sanding this. so. I really do make sure, need to make sure I sand that I torch this very adequately, right? Or else I'll have a bunch of air bubbles I'll be fighting with tomorrow. Somebody want to go grab that big uh, weed burning torch and bring it in here? Yeah, because we have to sand into these grains. So this, I mean, if you were going to do it clear, you'd have to sand first. Or unless you thought this was just perfect and you liked it as is, you could leave it. Uh, it's just wider and I can reach out across this and not step in my epoxy. 
this is a really nice tool for kitchens. It's actually not very aggressive. If you notice, that flame's not very strong at all. So it's just a really dispersed head. When is it too late to torch? Um, if it's not working, like your epoxy is set up. Yeah, if it burns and doesn't flow, but I mean, you always have time to torch. Just remember, I did everything first. I did all my colors first. And we didn't stress or worry. We could go to lunch, and if we hadn't torched this, we could have gone to lunch and came back and torched it. So, but that was because we were organized. For some reason lately, if it's not really, really a brand new bottle, yeah. it almost won't use it. Whereas it used to run it all the way down empty. I'm sure something's. I think it has epoxy stuck in it or something, right? That could never happen. Everything much out. Yes. Isn't that terrible, y'all? We're all like that. <laughs> right? Let's see if this is enough. Are you always trashing your buckets and using your buckets on your jump? Um, a bucket or two, yeah. Usually your number two bucket will peel right out, your number one bucket will. So I'll show my number one bucket, and that's number two bucket. Yeah. All the number two buckets should clean right out. When we sand this, it's going to be the best. Then I'm going to tape. I'm going to tape this edge off with that wire tape, the wire pull tape, and then I'm going to um, probably start rolling and troweling on the um, true metal to the edge for bark. Try to get it smooth and then polish it. Unless you guys want the bark to be something else. I feel like that stuff is so durable because it really is metal. It's just the edge to protect. That should be awesome. It applies just like wall epoxy. Uh huh. And we have copper, brass, stainless, um, iron, and man, iron, iron yeah, might look nice. It doesn't polish it. Accents on shower. I know. Like, was it? I was thinking that too. Yeah. Polish it down so it's like a polished metal shower. It's really beautiful. No, he didn't pop it. Wait, oh, uh -huh. I know, I want to do that too. He used to always do that. Um, yeah. I'm probably stuck on another job possibly, but I mean, I may be in here. I, did, I just. It's hard for me to. Are you guys somebody staying here for an extra day or something? Yeah, several of us are. Really? Oh. If you guys wanted to come in the morning and sand this, well, maybe. I mean, I hope it's hopefully it's cured enough to. I do 
you think I should come back and torch this just a little bit, but let's give it some time. So now I definitely think I need to let, if you notice all the little air bubbles, there's little foamy spots like working. Just give it five, ten minutes, let it work on its own, because now it's really warm, it has a thinner viscosity, it's kind of flowing, so the air is releasing. So don't keep heating it during that process. Um, just let that air naturally come out, and then we're going to hit it with a torch really quick, much faster than what we just did, and all those little air bubbles should pop out, and it should leave a pretty glassy surface. And if you don't do that, then the next day, I don't know if you guys noticed on the, was it that black sample that I did that had the little tiny pinholes in it after the sanding? That, that's just from little air holes not fully torched out like this, so. Um, I don't know what y'all think. Is it lunchtime? It's what time is it? 11. 11? Um, yeah, we can get, I'm sure somebody wants to eat here, so make sure you guys have a really good lunch and we'll be back here. And we can do 1 o'clock, so we can do a little bit earlier this afternoon if you leave, because it's 11 right now. Mm -hmm. Let's, we'll leave a little bit early and we'll come back a, a, a half hour early, so we'll be, meet back here at 1. And thank you guys for joining us. I hope you had a good time. This is actually the cool people that came to class. So. Um, please hit the follow button, subscribe unless you didn't like what you saw. So if you want to kill a pedophile t-shirt, you can come to a class and get one for free for a review. Anyways, thank you guys. Have a good lunch and we'll be back.